Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'll be reviewing Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Pure Castile Soap. So I see this all the time whenever I'm in Walgreens and I finally decided to pick it up. So it does have 18 different ways you can use it. I'm going to be trying it a few different ways in this video, um, but some of the ways are as a shampoo, a body wash, hand soap, um, toothpaste, mouthwash, you can use it to clean your dogs. Um, um, to clean your toilets, uh, dishes, like literally everything. So just keep watching to see my little review. Now this is the Hemp Peppermint Castile Soap. They do have a variety of different ones such as lavender, tea tree, rose, um, almond, and a few others. But I like peppermint, so yeah. This is the consistency of the product. It's very loose and watery as you can see. Um, it definitely reminded me of African black soap just from the consistency and also how it felt on my hair, but I'll get into that in just a second. So my first impressions was I really like this. Y'all know I'm a sucker for shampoos that have a great lather and I really liked this lather. It also felt very moisturizing on my hair as well. So, um, Castile soap, it can be a good replacement for shampoo because it is really good for getting rid of, you know, like product buildup and stuff off of your scalp, but it's not supposed to leave your hair stripped. So that is like the perfect shampoo for a natural. I was really happy that I decided to get peppermint because this smelled just like peppermint it smelled like a peppermint candy and it smelled so good i feel like whenever you use like peppermint or lavender it just kind of i don't know like it makes you feel good and calm and stuff like that and also i did feel like that tingly feeling on my scalp so this was like very therapeutic i really liked this soap on my hair so i am just really working this into my scalp my scalp is feeling fresh now all of the ingredients are certified organic, so it is made with coconut oil, um, hemp seed oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, very good oils which I feel like helps it to be very very moisturizing. It's vegan um, and it's just a nice natural you know shampoo compared to a lot of other shampoos that have you know those bad ingredients in them so i am just going to finish up shampooing my hair i'm going to leave it in and then i'm going to also use this soap for a body wash i did tell you guys you can use this as a body wash and that's what i did i already knew i would like it because of the lather i got on my hair and it lathered really nice on my skin the only thing i would say is if you're going to use it on your skin i probably would dilute it now it does say on the bottle to dilute this on my hair it was fine i didn't need to dilute it but for my body and my skin which i'm also going to use it on my face yeah I definitely should have diluted it because when this rinsed down my body into certain places, it just felt like it was on fire. And then um, when I put it on my skin, like my eyes were starting to water because it was so strong. Like this is very strong. So for some people, you might want to dilute it. So now I am just rinsing my body and my face. And once I did... My body felt very, very clean. My face did too, and it felt very fresh. But once I got out of the shower, my skin and my face was so dry, you guys. Um, it looks like really good. It feels very fresh, but I think since I didn't dilute it, it was a little too strong for my skin. So that is why I was very dry and I had to moisturize really good, but that could have just been my fault for not diluting it. As far as my hair, my hair felt so freaking good when I was rinsing this out. Even when I had it in, like I told you, it just feels so fresh. It definitely got my hair squeaky squeaky clean uh which i liked but my hair was not stripped at all so that is you know that's perfect i don't like when my hair is stripped um i feel like a lot of shampoos can get your hair very clean without making your hair super dry so i really liked this castile soap 
So this is what my hair looks like once I rinse the soap out and you guys can even see my hair just looks so healthy, so fresh and so clean. Um, if I had to compare this to anything else, it definitely reminds me of African black soap. So I feel like if you don't like African black soap, you probably would not like this soap. So just keep that in mind. So I did just follow up with my deep conditioner to make sure I brought back some moisture into my hair. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. Have you used it before? What have you used it for? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.